Hey, what's up, beautiful people? And today we're gonna be reacting to, as you can tell from the title, the most disrespectful moments in anime history. One. Now we already have seen the Hanma version, I Yuji or Hanma version. I almost completely forgot the name of it, but we got a special guest here today. Doge. Doge. Say hi. Adorable. But before the video begins, make sure to like, sub, comment, and all that good stuff if you enjoy the content. But without further ado, let's get into it. Got a nice mountain dew. Up to him with this straight ass face. Patted him on the cheek. Then slapped a shit out of his ass. God! <laughs> oh, slapped his ass like a pimp slapping an ungrateful ho. <laughs> We've all had that one person to where we just wanted to walk up and slap him so hard that they end up flying across the room. Unfortunately, that's not how uh, real world physics works because nobody is just that strong. But damn, we wish. She could get very disrespectful. Like there are some characters out there that will do the most absolute outlandish disrespectful sh that you will ever see in your life. And then you're just <laughs> sitting there watching it, looking at the screen like, damn. Did they really have to do that nigga like that? Like there are so many disrespectful moments in anime, I was just sitting down and thinking, shit, why not make a new series? The most disrespectful moments in anime history. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bruh. There's so many moments out there. This series might Jesus be Jesus Christ. Long ass <laughs> so here's how we're gonna do it. Each part is gonna have four moments. Cause like I said earlier, there's so many disrespectful ass moments out there. I'm gonna have to put multiple in different videos. Cause I know some of y'all gonna be in the comments. Y'all gonna be like, hey, yo, CJ. Where the f is that moment when that nigga beat the brakes off of that nigga, bruh? Like, I am on a personal mission myself to see every single ass whooping in anime history. Cause like, bruh, I gotta add more niggas to the Black Air Force activity table, so why not? So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, get your toes sucked if you want to, goddammit, and shit, let's get it cracking. Alright, first up, a few trips. This man just not discriminating. <laughs> Between who's watching his video. At the round table of Black Air Force activity, Aizen. This man did some of the most disrespectful shit I've ever seen in an anime. This nigga stopped Ichigo's Bankai with a finger. A fucking finger, nigga! He didn't even take the time out of his day to block it with his sword. Man said, fuck it, I only need a finger for your sorry ass. Then look at him, bro. The nigga says, oh my. <laughs> Yo, this man really just said... I tried to cut him in half at the waist. I guess my finger was too shallow. <laughs> Bro. But nah, nah, nah. You know what was the most disrespectful part of this entire moment? Just feast your eyes on this real quick. This man stopped his theme song. He stopped the protagonist theme song. <laughs> Nigga! Oh my gosh! That's gotta be one of the most disrespectful things you could ever do to a protagonist. Stop their theme song with a fucking finger. Like, because for real, like, they was gassing this- Bro, as soon as you stop the theme song, you know the hero is screwed in one way or another. You know a main character's about to die. This man Ichigo up. I mean, he just beat Byakuya, they just rescued Rukia, so everything is going great, right? So you thinking nobody can stop my boy right now. He about to smack the shit out of this, oh, I take AP classes looking ass boy. <laughs> this man Eisen really said cut the music little nigga. Hey yo, then after that, this man probably had the best exit of all time. This man just looks down at they asses like you inferior ass bitch. Y'all niggas ain't shit. This man takes off the glasses, slicks back his hair with no gel, my nigga, and turns into a whole ass Chad. And I bet you money he planned that shit too. And look at him just looking down at Ichigo like farewell little nigga. By the way, everything that happens in this show, I planned that shit. Absolutely disrespectful, bro. Hold on, let me do something real quick. And let me just squeeze him in right here. Act like nobody noticed. And uh, perfect. All right, um, move on. <laughs> nice. Notice beating this shit out of this big ass purple glue stick. Like this one right here was just. Bruh. I can't even describe how much of a disrespectful ass whooping this shit was. This man was. Going back to the Eisen thing, sorry, th th this is late comment. My brain is, you know, a couple seconds behind on the, on the regular scale. But. When it comes back to the Aizen thing, I completely forgot what I was about to say, so 
beating his ass with the most sadistic smirk on his face. This man activated that Black Air Force energy and it was a wrap. Just absolutely tearing through this mutated form of Barney. Oh, bro, and this is where the disrespect began. He walked up to him with this straight ass face, <laughs> patted him on the cheek, <laughs> then slapped a shit out of his ass. God damn! Slapped his ass like a pimp slapping an ungrateful hoe. Like, yo, he did this shit with no effort. The nigga skid across the ground. Damn. Like, this is how this shit basically went down, bro. Roll the clip. I've heard ancient echoes of voices. I've seen creatures. <laughs> I love the voiceovers. What a down face, Barney. You should take pride again, your ass beat by me, little nigga. <laughs> um, hello, Earth to dumbass. You're the one shrinking right now. <laughs> no, no. Ah, you <laughs> well, Let me slap shit out of you. I told your stupid ass, but you did That's exactly how it happened. Word for word, can't change my mind. Now look who's the little nigga. So after Fraudron has a sympathy segment, this man's like, I right, fine, I quit. Just kill me already. And then this man was like, say less. Fuck your backstory, nigga. The man didn't give a fuck. He just killed him. An uppercut from hell with a smile on his face. This man did not nice. fall for backstory no juicing. Man said, fuck your sympathy, boy. Get that shit out of here, nigga. Then everybody's like, damn, he didn't fall for that backstory no bullshit. Absolutely violated Barney in his final form. <laughs> All right, next up, <laughs> High School of the Dead. Oh. <laughs> Man, if you've seen this anime, you know exactly what's coming. So zombies are attacking the school and Never shit. Never seen so it. like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta get my homies out of here. So this dude busses up in the classroom, grabs Ray, and the boyfriend's like, hey, bro, what the hell are you doing? And he tells him that people just got killed at the gate, but of course she didn't believe him. So how did he make her believe it? Ah, fuck it. So how is there not an immediate intercom, um, like, saying, hey, people just died. You probably need to, you know, at least get out of the school or lock the door or hide your... Mom had your wife, had your kids. Get the shit out of that bitch. He did this in front of the class and in front of her boyfriend, bro. Oh, no. This man slapped the Do piss this. out of her. Man took a whole <laughs> tactic out of niggulations. Like, this man been listening to way too much future. Nigga was like, Hendrix. <laughs> and the boyfriend looking like, damn. He really just slapped my girl like that. Like, yo, nigga, you just got cucked in front of the whole class. Like, straight up into yard, bro. And then she like, hey, nigga, really just slapped the shit out of me. Like, like, let's just roll through what happened again real quick. <sighs> shit. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Bitch, get the fuck up. Time to go. Damn, nigga. Hey, cool. What the fuck you doing to my girl, bro? <laughs> the fuck am I doing? Nigga, the ops is outside right now. Wait, what you mean, cook? I just saw two niggas get iced out there, jit. The fuck, nigga, I ain't capping. Oh my gosh, what the fuck is happening right now? I'm not trying to have some of your bullshit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I just really the shit out of that bitch. Oh, fuck that. Do that. Bitch, I told you to shut the fuck up. Damn, that nigga sexy for that. Oh, I just got cooked. Damn, bro, niggas slapped the antennas <laughs> off this bitch. And finally, for our last one, is one of the most disrespectful moments in anime history. This nigga, Kurapika, brought a shovel to a fight. What? A fucking shovel. <laughs> what the uh, f No, no. Who hey, I mean, if you know you're gonna win the fight, you might as well bring the shovel. Who the fuck? thinks of this shit he brought a shovel so he could bury the nigga oh my god this man was on pure demon time so he starts fighting this big ass wolverine kaioken caveman looking ass nigga nice the living breaks off of him. like it got to the point like this shit was just pure torture motherfucker was determined to avenge his claim and then ubo was just at the point where like he he just had to himself any last words before you die yeah you look like a girl <laughs> oh, God damn it. Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I'm bloody as fuck. Where the fuck I put that damn phone? Call my nigga later real quick. Hello? What up, cuz me? Oh, shit, what up, my nigga? What the fuck you been doing? Shit, I just called a body, cuz. You did that, cuz? Damn right, the ops dead right <laughs> in front of you. you. want me to take a picture, nigga? Oh, shit, nigga, we gotta throw a party for your ass. Shit, let me call up the club real quick. Let me get some drinks up here. Let me get some bitches 
on our dicks, my nigga. Ooh, ooh, it's gonna be a good at night, boy. Bro, hurry your ass up so we can start. All right, Ben, let me just bury the body real quick. Wait the fuck, bury? Nigga, how the fuck you gonna bury your body out there? Oh, I brought a shovel with me. Wait, 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 what, nigga? You brought a shovel with you? <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, I can't prepare as fuck. I already knew the nigga was gonna die, so I made preparations. Oh shit, nigga, you got ice in your pants, nigga. All right, then, nigga, hurry your ass up, then. The pure embodiment of disrespect. <laughs> nigga really didn't think I would come prepared. Now time to bury your big ass. Up this nigga in the ground, nigga know he just got clowned. Nigga, I know that shit hurt. Put your ass in the dirt. Yeah, now time to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's basically the end for uh, part one of this series. I mean, we got niggas bringing shovels, midgets slapping big ass demons, niggas slapping bitches, and whole ass villains stopping theme songs. So yeah, like I said, there's gonna be a lot more of these because this is just the beginning. Like there is some stuff out there that is even worse than this. So we're gonna have some fun with this. Anyways, uh, I believe it. I believe it. I guess I'll take my leave. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We got merch now, yo. We got the Aaron drip. We got the Madara drip. We got the kid boot drip. So yeah, I uh, just had to plug my shit. But uh, anyways, uh, now I'm gonna go ahead head out. Well, all right, guys. I guess that's gonna be the most disrespectful ending to the most dis most disrespectful moments of anime history. And Bambi? Bambi? See, disrespect. Now make sure to do all the stuff I said in the beginning and have a great day, night, or morning, whenever you are.